So, why are aquarium clubs failing? There's aquarium clubs all over the country, all over the world, and they used to pop up and do really good, but recently they're struggling. They're beginning to fail. A few are still hanging on and thriving and doing well, but for the most part, aquarium clubs are struggling. Why is that? Well, it, it's many reasons, and um, the first reason I think is that the aquarium hobby itself is struggling. Um, there are a lot more things for people to do now than there were previously. Um, with the advancement of technology, the uh, the youth no longer set it home and watch the uh, aquarium and uh, dream about underwater adventures and, and the amazing fish in the Amazon and Africa and stuff like that. Uh, the youth are on their computers if they uh, are interested in the Amazon and African fish, they Google it. They watch a YouTube video about it. Um, but moreover, the youth are getting more into gaming and uh, movies and uh, social media, things like that, and not as much into aquarium hobbies. And when the, the youth, being uh, young adults, aren't into aquarium fish, they don't teach it to their children. The children don't get exposed to aquariums. And um, the popularity of it dies. And also, something leading to the downfall of the aquarium hobby is used to in every town, you would have a little shop that would sell pet supplies. And it would have a few aquarium fish there. But anymore, the big box stores, the uh, larger stores such as um, Walmart and Target and Meyer and, and all those, have put the small little all-in-one general store out of business and um, every little town doesn't have a store that would sell pet supplies. You may have to drive, you know, a few miles or something. Around here, you there's some places you have to drive two or three counties over to find a store that sells uh, pet supplies. So, a, de a decrease in um, interest in the hobby leads to a decrease in interest in the club about the hobby. Uh, the number two thing is the general, the youth or whatever, the population is getting more into technology and social media, uh, doing a lot of things online. And a lot of the aquarium clubs aren't. Um, a number of aquarium clubs have went to electronic newsletters instead of the paper newsletters. Some of them will even email email them out. But um, not all of them have a a Facebook uh, presence. Not all of them have a YouTube presence, an Instagram presence. Um, Twitter, all these social medias that are out there that uh, people are doing nowadays. So a, a presence in technology, um, or the lack thereof, is also hurting the aquarium clubs. The third thing that's hurting the aquarium clubs 
is the mindset of the general population. Why would I want to be a part of an aquarium club? If I want to talk to people about fish and get online, find a chat room or something talking about fish, I'll talk about fish. If I want to hear, you know, some somebody talk about their trip to Africa and looking for shell dwellers, I'll look that up on YouTube. If I want a good deal on on fish, um, I don't need to go set at some auction and and bid on fish. I can bid on fish online and have them shipped right to my door. That's the mindset of a lot of people. Is why I get out of my chair? What does the aquarium club have to offer? Is it worth my time to get off my butt and get in my car and drive, in some cases, a few hours to uh, see the stuff that I could get from my computer? The mindset has changed. And um, a lot of aquarium clubs don't change their mindset. They're still thinking of the, uh, the way things were in the 70s, the early 80s, um, when if you wanted to talk to people about something, you had to drive and meet up with them. If you wanted to get a good deal on something, if you wanted to trade something, you had to go meet up with people somewhere and uh, negotiate person to person. If you wanted information, you had to go find someone that had experienced it and talk to them. And uh, the world's changed. It's not like that. And uh, until aquarium clubs can grasp onto these changes of the world and either do something to overcome them themselves or embrace the changes and uh, adapt them into the aquarium club themselves, I don't think there's much hope for the aquarium clubs. So at this point, a lot of aquarium clubs are in the ICU of the uh, social hospital, the um, there's, uh, if they continue on the, on the path that they're going right now, there's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of hope for them. And um, one more thing that I'll put in there. Um, a the reason that aquarium clubs are dying is their uh, marketing. Letting people know that the aquarium club even exists. You know, I was in into aquariums here in my state for oh, I don't know, um, 20 years or so before I ever heard that there was an aquarium club in the state, and it had been here for a lot longer than that. And there have been a couple other aquarium clubs here in my state that have come and gone and I had never heard anything about them. Not till recently anyways. So, do I think that aquarium clubs are a waste of time? No, I don't. Do I think that aquarium clubs are just destined to cease to exist and go away. No, there's hope for them. They have to do certain things and and change the way they're doing things and adapt to the new world that's here around us. But there's hope. And I'll make a video and uh, put it out a little later about uh, how, how aquarium clubs can improve themselves. The hope that's out there. 
So what's your thoughts on aquarium clubs? Are there other things that you can think of that are uh, causing aquarium clubs to fail, to fall apart, to um, cease to exist? What do you think that they can do to improve that? Put all that in the comments for me. Um, let me know what you think. If you like this idea on this type of video, like what I'm doing here, and uh, want to see more of this, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like you know, talking about this type of stuff of how stuff might fail and what's wrong with things going on, give me a thumbs down. Tell me why. Um, if you want to see my video on um, what aquarium clubs can do to improve themselves, when I put it out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. The thumbs up, the not the thumbs up button, but the notification bell beside of it will will tell you when I've uploaded a video, so you'll be one of the first to see that. And um, you've got other other friends that are interested in aquariums and fish and and the like. Uh, be sure to share my channel out. The more people we get here learning about the hobby, the more that we'll uh, be able to save the fish, save the hobby. Have a good time and talk about fishy stuff.